वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर एंजॉइंग योर गुड हेल्थ डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू हैव सीन द वीडियोस व्हिच आई बीन शेयर्ड विद यू इन कंटिन्यूएशन टू वर्किंग विद फंक्शंस इन दिस चैप्टर टुडे वी विल सी द टाइप्स ऑफ आर्ग्यूमेंट्स to see in the details we shall go to the python idol dear students in the last class of functions functions we have seen types of arguments types of arguments and in types of argument we have seen first positional argument positional or required arguments secondly we have seen default arguments default arguments we have also seen keyword arguments and today we will see variable length arguments variable length arguments so when do we use variable length arguments when we do not know that how many parameters will be passed so to see that we will go to the idle and we'll see the simple function of addition and two parameters we have passed here now this is positional or required parameters this a and b now when we suppose we add here we can write here return a plus b then also it will work now we will pass the arguments in a we are passing 20 and in b we are passing 30 so here in positional arguments what happens this 20 the position of a is the first first and then the second we cannot change the position so this 20 will go in the same position the first position a so in a this 20 will be assigned and this 30 is the actual parameter of this b we also call this uh, formal parameter and actual parameters we also call this uh, formal argument and actual arguments so now this we have passed the actual arguments and this will answer you 50 we can also do this at a and b And then we can do c is equal to a plus b and print of c so now also we will get uh, we have to pass your arguments 20 and 10 we have passed now this is the third will be the output so this is positional positional argument this is and in the default arguments we can see once with this suppose i want to print the name and age of a person so name and age so i will mention here the age so by default even if you do not pass the argument age that automatically by default will be printed so here i write print name and age and now if i call name rohan and i do not pass here age so then also you get here 
the age by default so this is default argument now we can also change age if i write here rohan and i write here age and i write here 20 and then the age is changed so in the argument we can change the value so this is the default in the keyword the same way the keyword if whatever the uh, parameters we are giving if we assign here itself that is the keyword argument that we have seen already in the previous video so today we will see the variable length so where where we do not know the number of parameters so if suppose we can take the addition only how many numbers to add so addition and then we have to put a star a strict sign before a variable so that means by putting this asterisk the it comes in the form of tuple it will accept more than one value and for addition only sorry here if i write here now <coughs> now what we have to do we can give here either say b is equal to zero we'll have to run a loop here for i in a and b is equal to b plus i so the each time one value of the list will be assigned in the b and if i print here now print b so if i addition call the function here addition and now i'm giving here 2 comma 4 comma 6 8 and 10 now the addition of this will be so this is using more than one values so when we do not know we can we can use here less also so when we are not aware when we do not know that how many parameters will be passed then this is called variable variable length arguments we can see one more example suppose i take one uh, function one and in that i write here asterisk to the variable say list one and I run here a loop for I and list one and print and print I and then return so now also if i call this function function one and i pass here arguments so two comma four six and eight so this is function call this is the value which the arguments which have been passed so this is variable length argument so my dear students i hope you have understood the types of arguments so now we will see types of functions so according to the written statement there are two types of functions non void functions and void functions so what is non void function non void function performs some action and returns some value 
वन वैल्यू और मोर देन वन वैल्यू सो दोज फंक्शन विच रिटर्न वैल्यू आर कॉल्ड नॉन वर्ड फंक्शन एंड वर्ड फंक्शन आर द फंक्शन विच डू नॉट रिटर्न एनी वैल्यू सो वी विल सी हियर विद एन एग्जाम्पल दैट इफ आई मेक वन फंक्शन हियर ग्रीट एंड greet and i do not pass any parameter here and and here i print print hello so if i call this function here greet it will display the message Hello. So here you can see, children, uh, in this function, the message is printed. It's not this function is not returning any value. Okay. So these types of functions are called void function, which do not return value. So in the next, we will see the functions which return some value. So in that function. then there should be a return statement should come in the function so if i write here a function let's say greetings and i write here name one parameter i have passed and then A return, a return name, a return name. So, uh, for this uh, function, we will go to the script mode because it will give error here. So, we will go to the script mode, and here we'll make this function. Greet, so greeting. and i pass your name and then a return a return name and then in the variable i'll take input input enter a name and in the variable b i am taking greeting of a and print here print here hello and b so the value of Uh, name has been stored here in b and with the print statement the the value is returned in b so if i run this program i need to save this say i call this f1 and now it will ask here a name so i can give one name rohit and hello rohit so here the value is returned so the functions which return some value they are called non void functions i hope this is clear to all the children now we will see so in the continuation uh, we will see now a returning multiple values from a function so we can return one value also and we can return more than one so how to use more than uh, more than values so 
will make one function say my function and uh, in that uh, I will write here uh, say I don't pass any parameter here and return one two three four five six seven values so now if I call this function my fun so it will give you a in the form of tuple so these values have been um, returned in the form of tuple actually it is taking only one uh, only one value say if we write here a is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 c this will automatically become a tuple so this is only the way how it works here inside uh, with a written statement to return us the multiple value so this is how the python gives us uh, the facility to return more than one values in a written statement so my dear students i hope you all have understood the topics covered today and also we have completed our chapter chapter 3 working with functions my dear students if you have any doubt you can contact me thank you and have a good day